Hola, it's Guy Pacha with the weekly Pele report for November 16th of 2022. Pura Vida, I have made it back home to the Machuca Rio after like six months. It's been a long time. If you go back to the Pele reports of March and April, you might remember this river was just a tiny little stream. <laughs> Barely moving at all. It's the freaking rainy season. And you get to really experience the power of Mother Nature. Speaking of nature and natural law, Venus goes into Sagittarius today. Mercury goes into Sagittarius tomorrow. They are traveling very tightly close together. They are exactly conjunct on Monday. At the 8th degree of Sagittarius, I might read the Sabian symbol for that. Super powerful. I hope this is not too loud. I'm going to have to listen back. I don't know if I can actually do the report this close to the river. Anyway... In the meantime, La Luna is now in Leo, has gone into Virgo today, and by Saturday uh, is going to uh, be in Libra. So, you know, in Virgo, she's going to oppose that beautiful Jupiter-Neptune conjunction going on over there in Pisces. That's still going on for quite some time. And Mars squared that and now is retrograde comes back and squares Neptune again on Saturday it is exact but again this is going to be going on all week meantime the sun over there up in Scorpio is in trine to Jupiter so we've got the Mars square the sun trine <laughs> the moon opposite ow we got it all going on, baby. And uh, so, yeah, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, the weekend there, the moon is over in uh, Libra. By Monday, uh, she goes into Scorpio. And balsamic, closing, ending, finishing this eclipse season. Wow. There'll be a new moon next Wednesday. I will talk about that on the Pele Report next Wednesday. But, uh, yeah. Let me look at the camera, explain a little bit about what all this means. That new uh, moon is happening at 1 degree 38 minutes of Sagittarius. So, we're closing out this Scorpio moon cycle, eclipse cycle, and I'm sure many things are coming to a close for you. So, let's talk about it. <laughs> okay, let's do this before I get eaten alive. You know, you would think by now that I would bring some citronella with me on these, on these things. I just head off like the fool, you know, dot, 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 with my little bag of stuff, you know, off into the jungle with 10 million mosquitoes and think, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, just, you know. Do a Pele report. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, so much to say today. There, uh, I, I think I really want to go into this whole idea of the eclipse cycle and the eclipse season that happens twice a year. And it's not just that we have a, a solar eclipse and then a lunar eclipse and goodbye, it's over. But no, no. It is a season. It is, uh, you know, it's a, a time period at least a month long, sometimes longer. But this one, uh, I'm gonna. It's like, I'm just like, can't wait for Sagittarius. <laughs> can't wait for this new moon. I'm just like, let's get out of this eclipse cycle. Yeah, because we are still in it. And I just want to talk about, you know, the, the, the phases of the moon. And, uh, you know, Jessica talked about it a little bit in the lunar report. And I just want to, uh, you know, reiterate on that in case you haven't seen it. And that reminds me that, you know, I, I don't like to promote or advertise myself. But, you know, the, the, 
sometimes, you know, it helps just to inform people of what's going on. I have a Telegram channel where I post a lot more than I do uh, on YouTube or my website or Instagram or any place else um, because it's, uh, you know, encrypted. Yeah. So Telegram, boom, I've got a Telegram channel, I've got a BitChute channel, I've got a Spotify channel, and uh, Spotify, you can either listen to the Pele Report like a podcast, or you can uh, go to the Pele Report soundtrack, and there's all the songs, I'm over three hours of songs now, of the weekly songs, so if you like, you know, the music that comes with the Pele Report, you know, the song of the week, whatever, you can check that out. What else is there? My website, yes, I do readings. You know, people ask often. Uh, I, I'm doing readings all the time. Uh, I'm doing workshops in different places around the world, and um, that is all on my website under readings and uh, under events. And Oh, and I have a school. I have hundreds of students that want to learn more astrology. We've got a Telegram chat. We've got, uh, we meet, I meet on Zoom every Sunday with everybody, just about, unless I'm traveling. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, uh, hundreds of, I don't know, a library of videos that, you know, will tell you all about how to read your chart. So check that out. And, uh, and Jessica, and I write the lunar report, the, I do the overview every new moon, and then Jessica does every week, and then uh, she does every day, 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 if you're in the school, yeah? So there's all kinds of stuff going on. Learning astrology, you are your own best astrologer. I, I am so into helping you understand your own chart and, you know, do your own thing, and yeah. Be Taurus. <laughs> Be North Node of the Moon in Taurus, conjunct Uranus, which rules astrology. <laughs> and be self-sufficient. Ow! Okay, now, to get back into this whole thing, it's just a cycle of the new moon is like you have the idea, and then it comes around to the full moon, and that idea manifests, and then it goes around, and as the moon wanes... You get, you get the results, you get the feedback, you get the, you know, uh, uh, you know what, what is, you know, the ripple effect of whatever you created. As an example, okay, you know, at the new moon, you say, okay, well, I'm not happy with this relationship, okay, uh, there's not enough of this, and we need more of that, so you decide to, you know, have that conversation with your partner. Well, okay, you have to overcome all your doubts and fears and get your, uh, you know, act together. And at the square, probably, you'll say, okay, let's sit down and have this talk. And this is how I feel, and this is what I think, and this is what I want, and this is what... Da, 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 da. <laughs> there's not enough of this, and there's too much of that. Uh, okay, yeah. And then, you know, uh, it comes around to that full moon. And, you know, then it's like it's out of your hands. In fact, the full moon could even be that conversation. Or maybe you go to a therapist. Maybe you have a counselor out there, you know, with this full moon. But the thing is that, you know, the, the, what you initiate at that new moon manifests at the full moon. And then it's out of your control. <laughs> then goes into Libra and Scorpio, forces beyond our control... Okay, I can't control. What is my partner going to do with that information? Leave me? <laughs> uh, Want to go deeper? Get more intimate? Uh, uh, you know, do everything I say? Not do anything I say? Come back with anger or intense? You know, reactions? Ba 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 ba. Right? You know, and so there is this whole second half of the cycle. Let's say at that new moon you want to put on a party. Full moon, you put on the party. And then after that full moon, well, people talk about the party. You know, people got together at the party who never met each other. Uh, people got angry and had arguments at the party. Maybe somebody overdosed or hurt themselves at the party or whatever, right? You know, all these, you know, 
all this stuff goes out, it goes out, it goes out, and it comes back. So we're, we are now in this phase, right? We have the moon square the sun is today, okay? The sun in late Scorpio, moon in late Leo, boom, happening as I speak. That third quarter square is where it comes back on us. And then we move into the balsamic, right? The moon starts getting smaller and smaller, crescent, 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 disappears to become that new moon, right? Well, this is where everything just goes, you know, Pisces, 12th house, balsamic phase, chaos, confusion, surrender, allow, accept, just meditate and and even in Aquarius, non-attach, like step back and step out. So, you know, we're in this balsamic phase for this next week. And you and even since last week, since that full since that total lunar eclipse, it's like, you know, it's like the boat set sail, man, and you're you know, it's you can't manage it. You can't control it. You can't you get a feeling of powerlessness, of, uh, you know, of weakness, of, uh, you know, just helplessness, can go into hopelessness. Look at that mosquito flying right in front of the camera. Did you see that? <laughs> no, those are not spirits. <laughs> it's a freaking mosquito in front of the camera. I know people see everything in these reports. Like, you know, there's, oh, look at who's behind me over there. Look at that. Anyway. So, I tell you, I mean, it's, uh, it's, this is a challenging period, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah? And you may be feeling, you know, this sense of loss, this sense of, uh, you know, powerlessness, the sense of that, you know, and, and what's gone is gone. And, and Scorpio is the sign of death letting go and and this is just like okay I cannot control it I can I've put I've, I've put in as much as I can put in or I've done as much as I can do and that brings me to what the four agreements by Miguel uh, uh, what is it Don Miguel Ruiz I just got a copy of the four agreements I pasted it Okay, you know, it's my screensaver on my desktop, on my computer. <laughs> Every time I open it up, boom. I got these four agreements. I'm going to post them uh, at the end of today's report. If you want to snap a screenshot of that yourself. You know, these are very powerful. And I know they've been around for a long time. And, you know, it's uh, still good reminder. Yeah, be impeccable with your word. Uh, say, you know, speak your truth, you know, this relationship is too much or not enough or blah, blah, blah. I mean, do put it out there and then shh, the feedback. Don't take it personally. This is a big one, especially for me, especially for Pisces, 12th house, Neptune people who want to save, who want to rescue, who want to help, who want to be nice, and then it comes back and they're not happy or they, you know, uh, you know, and it's your fault or blah, 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 blah. It's, you know, Leo and Cancer take things personally a lot, all, you know, for sure. Yeah. And so, you know, this is what it, this is saying is really everyone, everything that people are feeling, they project onto you. And we all need to like own our projections and own our shadow and own our stuff and not be blaming, 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 blaming. It's, so if you're feeling down, it may be the result of guilt, taking other people's assessment of you. Scorpio is other people's values. Well, other people can try to impose their values on you. So it's also the eighth house is the house of conflict. 
Scorpio is a sign of conflict. It's where you have to stand up and say, you know, I don't value the same things you value. I don't want the same things you want. So either I'm out of here or you're out of here or you're going to leave me alone or we're going to da 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 That being impeccable with your word, you know, another part of that is just summoning up the guts to speak. We also have a, you know, suppress, oh, I'm not happy with this relationship. But if I say something, I don't want to disturb, I don't want to rock the boat. I don't want to, like, get my partner angry. I don't want to threaten, you know, the security of this relationship. So I'm just going to zip it. And I'm going to shut up and I'm not going to say anything. Ugh, you know, and then I'm going to be a martyr, you know, whatever. But I'm not going to be, we're not going to be happy. So we also, this is Mars in Gemini. Even though it's retrograde, it's still in Gemini. It's in a nice trine to Saturn over there. I don't know if I uh, uh, mentioned that, yeah? What else have we got going on, yeah? Well, besides, you know, being impeccable with your word, not taking things personally, don't make assumptions. Don't assume that because you want something a certain way, everybody's going to want it that way. <laughs> You're right? Like, come on! <laughs> you know, like, don't be assuming that, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and, I'll, and not only too much, but too little. Don't assume that you're going to fail. Don't assume that it's never going to work. I'm going to try not to assume that it's going to rain any second on this Pele report. <laughs> so this really brings our focus into a shorter period of time. When you get overwhelmed, just deal with what's going to happen in the next 12 hours. Yeah? Shh. Narrow it down, man. And then, of course, last but definitely not least, okay, just always do your best. Always do your best. Then you got no regrets. You tried your hardest. Nobody can come back and say you skipped out. You know, you didn't give it your all. Blah, 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 blah. You know, and, and, when, and when you're doing your best, that's all you can do. You can't do any more than your best. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, then you can sleep at night. You know, I did my best. Maybe it wasn't good enough. Maybe it failed, but it was my best. I gave it my best shot. I really think that these, you know, can help us through these time periods of, okay, where there is loss and there is depression and there is evil. That's another thing Scorpio in the 8th house deals with evil. Yeah? The taboo, the evil, the dark, okay, the exploitation, manipulation, the Jeffrey Epstein's, the whole, you know, the whole perversion, the whole, I mean, all this underground covert stuff. Speaking of which, I watched uh, The Social Dilemma again, you know, I know it uh, came out a little while ago, but it's still, it's a classic, I think, and it kind of really brought me you know, into a place of depression. <laughs> Just how, you know, the minds of young people are being, you know, manipulated by, you know, these huge, uh, you know, social media networks. And we can go beyond that into political networks and world government networks and medical networks and I mean, there's a lot of manipulation, a lot of exploitation, a lot of bullshit, about a, a lot of lies. Okay, there's just a lot of hell going on out in the world these days. And, you know, sensitive psychic people really pick it up. And you may be one of those. And you may be feeling feelings that are not really, you know, your problem. And they're certainly not beyond, I mean, they're certainly beyond your control. You're not going to be determining, you know, 
what the CDC or the WHO or some billionaire does. So these, you know, these are situations totally beyond our control and they can get us down. Death is beyond our control, but if we dwell on it and we think about it, it can definitely bring us down. <laughs> that this could happen, this could all be over any minute. So what do you do with all of this? What do we do with all this? I, I just want to, again, I want to say this powerful coming into the now, but not only coming into the now, and this also has to do with the mantra for this week. It has to do with like what I, I just came up with last night as I'm doing the dishes, you know? I'm doing the dishes and it's just like, wow, wow. You know, I'm really thankful that I had food, uh, you know, for my dinner tonight. And I'm really thankful that I have these pots and pans to cook the frickin' food. I'm, I'm really glad that I got a stove and I got gas, propane, you know, to cook my food. I mean, there's a lot of people who don't. I'm glad I got fingers so that I can make my food and eat my food and do these dishes. There's people with no fingers. Right? I'm, gl I'm glad I got a refrigerator that I got food in that freaking thing because there's people who don't even have food. I mean, it's like, you know what? I mean, if we really look around, there's so much. You know, every moment of life is a gift. We are, we're, you know, we can just be in a place of what we're missing or we can be in a place of what we're getting, like that mosquito flying right in front of the camera again, you little bastard. <laughs> I, I do services to humanity every time I smack these things, and I know, I know the Buddhist saying that, uh, you know, uh, if, if you uh, even kill an insect or you kill anything, it's a thousand lo more lifetimes. <laughs> well, I got a few more thousand coming. <laughs> But maybe you won't get bit by a mosquito because I got that sucker. <laughs> anyway, where was I, man? Uh, yeah, I just kind of had the blues today. Still challenging to do the Pele report. You know, I kind of woke up. I got here, my car is dead. Charged up the battery, still won't start. Got to tow it. Things I can't control. Things that are just, you know, not going our way, not going my way, not going the easy way. So what we want to really come back to is, and I got this in that Tantra workshop, you know, it's just consciousness wanting to experience itself through me and consciousness wanting to experience every possible aspect light or dark, good or bad, good or evil, right or wrong, pleasant or torturous. You know, there is this whole spectrum of life, of consciousness, that is coming through the experience of Kaipacha. And you know, and you are another ray of consciousness experiencing itself through you and we can step into this detached place. We can step into this observer. And Scorpio is desire. Mars, Pluto, it's like, you know, very powerful emotional desire, emotional attachment. And we're coming around, you know, this is Saturn and Aquarius. Uranus, the ruler of Aquarius, on that north node, breaking free, liberating, ourselves from emotional attachment, sexual attachment, financial attachment, intellectual attachment, attachment to power, attachment to things, attachment to position, to a job, to a country. I mean, if we can move into this place of non-attachment, 
We will move into a place of liberation. Liberation, grasshopper. <laughs> so what do I say for the mantra today, this week? Repeat this one just over and over and over again. I, it just like came to me last night when I was, you know, down. Don't bring me down. <laughs> okay, my spirit, spirit, okay, not ego, not body, not mind, not emotions. My spirit, my spirit is indomitable. Love that word. <laughs> indomitable. I shall not fail to feed the fires of love on earth that wisdom and truth prevail. We're moving into Sagittarius. The cool thing is, is that Mercury is going there tomorrow. Venus is there today. They're getting a head start on the sun. So it may, you know, it may smooth this balsamic chaos of the closing phase of this eclipse cycle this week. Knowing that, boom, you know, like Mercury and uh, Venus are already in fire. They're already in Sag. And the sun, right, next Monday, hella frickin' Luya enters into Sagittarius. And the, the, the phoenix will rise from the ashes. Yeah. We will, Chiron will rise from the underworld. The Christ consciousness rise. Osiris rise. Dionysus rise. You know, Dionysus got, you know, cut up into a zillion pieces or something. I mean, he, he totally. Osiris is 14 pieces, right? Spread out all over Egypt. But so we're, we're in a place of like scatter. We're in a place of like, we've been blown apart, our lives. But our spirit is undominable and we shall not fail. Because the true purpose and meaning and intention of our incarnation is to keep the fires, feed the fires of love on this planet. That wisdom and truth prevail. That's about the truth. And like they said in The Social Dilemma, you can have all kinds of intelligence, all kinds of intellect, all kinds of answers, all kinds of smarts. But that's not wisdom. Wisdom is the ability to step outside and beyond and look right at the bigger wider cosmic astrological picture Ow! <laughs> thank god for astrology man yeah i'll leave you with that today wishing you the best and i will see you on the other side with that new moon in Sagittarius. Oh, I didn't even read the Sabian symbol, but you know, the, 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 it's even better, the, the, the one for the new moon. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, we, got, we got good stuff coming. I've talked long enough. Have a good time. Namaste. Aloha. So much love. Great.